Laura Coleman. I'm in Atlanta, Georgia, in my best friend Becky Kinney Brew's kitchen. Laura, you do not think this is a kitchen well, properly, do you? Kitchen, if you could even call it that. I have nominated Becky for the Kitchen Makeover Contest because she is the most deserving person of a new kitchen. She is truly one of my best friends in the entire world. She has been my support system. Our kids are exactly the same age. We both work at the same preschool, and on top of all of that, Becky has started her own cookie business that she does out of this kitchen where she cannot even fill the orders that she is getting for her beautiful and unique and delicious cookies. Um, and I truly feel like she is the one who needs a new kitchen more than anybody else in the world. And I am going to show you the reasons why you will not believe this 70s kitchen. What you doing? Yay! Hey. Just making a few cookies. Oh, uh, you know what? I'm Becky. Let me show you around this kitchen a little bit. Make yourself mm. comfortable. These are shamrock cookies. Yes, so good we luck. Always mm. need mm -hmm. good luck. I'm very. We need good luck. So let me start by showing you, Laura. If it's if you need to wash your hands, mm. go right ahead. I've got little ice. Do you mind? Yes. No. Wait. Wait. No. Remember, it's backwards. Oh, it's it. backwards. So, you know, you turn okay, it wait, away you from turn you it, the thing. I know, it's confusing. Okay. Just, oh, just finally the water comes out. Yeah, but, and watch out for this no, lovely, it, isn't that awesome? I know, what, the kids like to make music on it. I've never Maybe seen the biggest splash art you've thing. ever seen in your life. Is it? Okay, got So it. let me show you all around. Um, first of all, I'm right here. You might get lost in this kitchen with all the monitor. We've got the monochromatic Cabinets, counters, laminate, of course, linoleum floor. Oh, but you know what? This is a newer dishwasher. I don't think this is really from the 70s. It's a little bit wider. I think it's the 80s. I think you're right. I think it's the 80s. I think you're right. But uh, it does leak a little, so I do put a towel under there. So then we move on to my, my fabulous stove and oven. All right. At least it's stainless steel on the top. Right. right, you're right, you're right. And it says it's self-cleaning. <laughs> oh, it's not. That's very modern. It, yes, it's not. <laughs> okay, so you open it up, not self-cleaned, hasn't been cleaned in probably 30 years. Oh, and the light, forget the light. So um, I do burn quite a few of the cookies because there's no timer. I would forget you, things sometimes. Would and you call this the backbone of your cookie business? Absolutely. I have... We have moved around so much, and my husband has gone back to school so many times that I decided to take it by myself to, along with the preschool, try and make a little extra money, so I make all my cookies. And it's, I love it, it's my hobby. He made me turn it, my hobby into something that I make money. Here we go. So, yes, I spend probably five hours a day right here. Oh, and let me just mm. point this out. If you think you're crooked today, mm. it's not today. I'm a little crooked usually. This is the Venta Hood. And you know what? It's slipping. You know how I can tell? Notice these flowers. They're not even here. See how it sort of slopes? But let's talk about the backsplash. I know. Don't you like it? Do you think it's always been this color and just this dirty? I think that in the 1970 first era this is what was in what year well, is it today what's today what's today's day last time i checked it's 2011 <laughs> it might be different i think um, you should grow your herbs outside that's exactly okay. and you know i have a brown thumb got so it. that got doesn't it. even work i would prefer to buy them at the grocery store got it so we're gonna move on um laura this is really dark in here is it mind? always yeah. so dark let me turn on the light it is yeah do you mind turning on the light <laughs> what is that i know i told you that's it why work. I don't let anybody do anything. I never go near your sink again. Yeah. That's no. it. That's it. Okay. I, I can understand. I don't be the same way. Mm -mm. So let me uh, go on with the tour a little bit. Do you mind bit, if okay. I grab a water? Ha okay. Help yourself. Stay thirsty. So we are moving on from these. Oh, Laura. Mm -hmm. Help yourself to some water, but I'm going to have to go show you where to get the ice. Remember? Wait, your ice is not in your kitchen? Oh, honey. No. Let me just show you. Follow me. We have the ice on the way to the master bedroom oh. in the freezer. And don't worry, I just bought a new bag. So there's some ice in there if you want to help yourself. So let me understand. Your freezer is in your master bedroom. Oh, and close. your yes. refrigerator is in your kitchen. That's right. Okay. That's right. I'll work my way to the refrigerator I'll in a minute. Just get tap water. Okay, that's a good idea. 
I, Laura, did you know that I have the same microwave that Neil had in college? This microwave, it sort of blends in the white, you know, it's a little dirty from being 20 years old, but it's here, so whenever I make the kids their vegetables, mm. take it out and I run to the sink. Mm. Because it I, I had work. that same one in college, too. I know. Yeah. Can you believe it? Do, do you know that they build these in now to cabinets? They do. That's a rumor. <laughs> That's just a rumor. But I see, I see. I mean, where it, would it I fits put it? nicely with, with the junk. junk. Got it. Isn't the junk great? Got it. This collects more junk. It multiplies. The junk just multiplies. I don't. I put two pieces there. It turns out a hundred. But um, I mean, you gotta have a support beam. Right. Isn't this great? Now I need to go throw away the rest of my napkin. Is oh yeah. Right no, now. no, 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 no. Oh. Remember? Okay. Remember, it's in this large cabinet. Oh. Because what else do you need a large cabinet for? Got then it. a garbage can. Got it. Got it. And it is a large garbage can. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So then we do have the refrigerator that I do, I really do like my refrigerator. It would be nice to have a freezer right next to it. Again, I truly don't think I've ever been in a kitchen that doesn't have a freezer. I but it can use anything. It, you know. I love to be a trendsetter. Isn't that a great you idea? You are a trendsetter. So, um, Laura. I would love to have a new kitchen. I would love it. Okay. In between the volunteering at school, working at the preschool, making my cookies, being a wife, being a mom, you know, how many peanut butter and jellies do you make in the kitchen? And you make your husband's lunches. Yes. Now he, that he is he, working. Yeah. He does. He is working. Work. So he gets right. to pack his own lunch. He brown bags it. Right. So I would just be over the moon with a new kitchen. I don't know what I would do with myself. I really think... I'll you deserve it more than any, truly anybody I know. The passion you have for cooking, the inspiration you are to all of us non-cookers who actually have nice kitchens. Well, yes, I I have so many friends that have the best kitchens, and which is why I started the Supper Club because it's fun to go visit all the nice kitchens. Um, but I do love to entertain. I love to be around people, and if I could do that, I would. That if I got a new kitchen, I'd have so much time to. Do everything I want to be running back and forth. We would all benefit if Becky had a new kitchen. The non-cookers for the great meals and Becky for having a great atmosphere to do your passion in. So, well, Laura, let's have a sip. Cheers, Cheers. to a new kitchen. Good luck. Thank you. Uh, Laura, hmm. did you notice something? What? Sort of quiet? Yeah, it is quiet. It wasn't as quiet earlier, was Where are the kids? Yeah, we broke it on that. I know I brought him over here. I know. Oh, well. Cheers. Keep drinking. <laughs>